Cornerstone Hospice participates in Pet Peace of Mind, a national program that allows hospice patients to keep their pets with them throughout their end-of-life care. To raise community awareness and funds, Cornerstone presented their second annual Wag and Walk event in downtown Eustis, near Fountain Park. The event drew hundreds of animal lovers and dogs. Attendees got to enjoy the Swift Paws Lure course for dogs, learn about pack life with a local dog whisperer, Todd Langston, and watch the adoptable parade in the beautiful weather. This is the second annual Pet Peace of Mind Wagon Walk, and it's a fundraiser for our program that helps keep pets and families together during hospice care. So it's a volunteer-based program where volunteers will do things like walk dogs, provide basic care, uh, give a ride to the vet, and the donations we get will help pay for vetting for some patients' pets, maybe some shots or a spay or neuter, and um, food, litter, things like that. And then we're also here to raise awareness for the need to have a plan for your pet should your pet outlive you or you ever be unable to care for your pet. It was started by Banfield Charitable Trust, so it's a nationwide organization and it's known as Pet Peace of Mind throughout. Only nonprofit hospices can have it and it's designed to help patients and families take care of their pets because that bond is so important and especially when you're sick or dying, you want your pet near you. I'm one of the members of Paul's Therapy Dogs and all of our dogs are registered and insured through Therapy Dogs Incorporated, which is an international company. All of our dogs and people, you're, you're registered as a team. Our dogs go in and they visit with the seniors. They, we visit with a lot of children, a lot of special needs children. Um, last weekend we had a really uh, sad event. We visited with a gentleman. His, his final request was he wanted a dog to lay in bed with him. So one of my dogs went and visited with him and an hour after we left he passed away. But what better way to leave this world with puppy kisses all over you? A lot of people say, isn't it really sad volunteering for Cornerstone Hospice? It's not. There are sad times, don't get me wrong, but there's a lot of happy times, and we're out there spreading joy and giving last wishes to people, so that's what life is all about. If you can just take a little bit of time and share your life, your time, and your dog with somebody, that's what it's all about. Cornerstone Hospice has many special programs offered to the community. To find out more about these programs and for contact information, follow the Wag and Walk Story Link icon on our homepage, yourhometownhealth.com.